heaven, the creator of the heavens and the earth. We answer our prayers tonight in the name of Jesus. Heavens will attend to your needs tonight in the name of Jesus. The glory of the Lord will come down tonight. Walls will crumble. Strongholds will be pulled down tonight. Fetters will be broken tonight. Closed doors against your life, against your family, against your business, against your destiny will be opened tonight in the name of Jesus. The heavens will open unto us tonight in the name of Jesus. I'm excited tonight because tonight is the hour of solution. And God has a solution to every problem tonight in the name of Jesus. Be hopeful tonight. Invite your friends. Tag your friends. Possibly start a watch party. Let your friends know that we are fully on air tonight. And very soon, the glory of the Lord will be coming down. Very soon, the power of the Lord will descend mightily in the name of Jesus. You are wonderful. You are mighty, oh God. You are wonderful, Lord. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy. signs and wonders, a night of the manifestation of the power of God, a night of divine solution, 
the night of awesome, awesome power of the Lord. You are powerful. You are mighty, oh God. You are powerful, Lord. You are mighty, oh Lord. Lord, I thank you for tonight. A shelter in the time of storm. The great and the mighty God. Thank you because your presence is available tonight. Thank you because, oh God, of the great and mighty things that you have been doing through this program, the Hour of Solution, a prayer-based program. Thank you for your awesomeness. Thank you for the move of your spirit. Thank you for the healings, for the deliverances. Thank you for how you have delivered men from the captivity of the enemy. Thank you for as many that you have healed through this program. Thank you for as many that you have delivered during this program. Thank you, Lord, for as many, O oh God, that you have shown mercy through this program. Mighty God, I worship you. I give you all the glory. It is not the doing of a man. It's not the doing of any servant of God. It's your move. It's your doing. We want to thank you. We want to appreciate you. Thank you for another night. Thank you for the good network. Thank you for the victory you gave us over the powers of the enemy that wanted to disrupt this program. Lord, this night, oh God, we are before you. We are before your presence. The expectation of your people are high tonight. Men are looking unto their creators tonight. Oh Lord, just as the name of the program implies, the hour of solution. I pray that this night, during this prayer-based pro program, during this prayer-based program, I pray and I ask, you will give solution to every viewer. You will give solution to every challenge. You will give solution to every need. You will visit your prayers. You will heal the sick. Those that feel as if there's no hope again. Those that, 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 that their, their situation and, and condition seems hopeless. Because you are the God of hope. I pray that this night, oh God, you will give them hope. You will deliver them. Those that are the, are, are the verge of dying, oh Lord. I pray that during this program, the power of resurrection will come down. Those that have been appointed to die, you will deliver them from the jaws of death in the name of Jesus. Father, tonight your people are looking unto you. I pray that the heavens will open for your people. Prayers will be answered. Tears will be wiped away. Mountains will be rolled away. Walls of barrier, walls of limitation, walls of sickness. Was that the enemy has built around your people, your creation, your creatures. I pray that, oh Lord, during this program, every wall of the enemy about Jesus. I pray that your, your power will come down tonight. I exercise authority over every powers of destruction. Over every powers of the enemy. The Bible said that and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Paul said we would have come once and again, but Satan hindered us. And the Bible says we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. I exercise authority over every Elma the sorcerer that want to withstood this program. You Elma the sorcerer, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Every projection of the wicked one of the enemy against this program, the hour of solution. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Let your glory come down tonight. Take all the glory tonight. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. I welcome you all to tonight's hour of solution. Just like as I said, the Lord will remember you tonight in the name of Jesus. We thank God our network is, uh, is good, up and running. The Lord has given us a victory over the hitches we had uh, last week. 
and we are back strong and better. Remember, this is the Hour of Solution, a prayer-based program. And during this program, there is solution to every challenges of your life in the name of Jesus. The Lord will mightily visit you tonight in the name of Jesus. I'm very excited because I see God doing awesome things. I see God healing the sick tonight. I see God giving deliverance to the oppressed tonight. I see God moving in your situation tonight. And this night, walls will crumble in the name of Jesus. The fetters of the enemy, the fetters of captivity, the fetters of bondage, the fetters of the enemy. During this hour of solution, every fetters will be broken in the name of Jesus. And during this program, the Lord will come down mightily. Strongholds of the enemy will be pulled down in the name of Jesus. Once again, I welcome you all to the hour of solution. This night will be awesome and powerful. And it's going to be a time of praying and prayers. The Bible says, Deliver thyself from the bounds of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. That is prayers. That is praying. And this night, every captivity will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The Bible said that as a ruler, deliver thyself from the hands of the hunter. And whatever is the powers of the enemy holding any, any, any of our viewers in bondage, in captivity, tonight, during this hour of solution, remember, it's a prayer-based program. There's going to be a lot of fireworks tonight because of the nature of what the Lord has laid in my heart to speak on tonight. There's going to be a lot of fireworks and anywhere you are watching this, this live program, whether in Nigeria, whether in, uh, in South Africa, whether in uh, Turkey, whether in U.S., in any part of the globe that you are watching this live program, get ready. It's a prayer-based program. And this night, there's going to be a lot of fireworks. There's going to be a lot of prayers and praying. Remember, that's your solution. That's your weapon. The weapon of prayer. That's your solution to every challenge. And this night, we are going to maximize that weapon in the name of Jesus. Before we pray tonight, I told us the Lord laid something on, on my heart to speak on before we pray. And I, I want you to really give me your attention. Don't let anything to distract you. Because this night is a wonderful night. It's the hour of solution. Testimony abounds what the Lord has been doing through this program. I'm not the one doing it. It's not the servant of God that is doing it. It's God, the mighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. He is the one that is making a name for himself. He said, I will walk and who will let it? I will walk and who will hinder it? And the Lord has been moving. The Lord has been walking. Testimonies abounds to the glory of the name of God. And this night, as I said, the Lord will remember you tonight. The Lord has not forgotten you. You said, Pastor, I've not gotten my own testimony. This night, you will get your own testimony. You are a creature of God. You are the handiwork of God. When you are hurting, when you are, when you are crying, when you are a prey to the enemy, God is not happy. And this night, the Lord will give you testimonies in the name of Jesus. The sick will be healed. The oppressed will be delivered. Those that have been overwhelmed. You know, you, somebody could be overwhelmed. Overwhelmed by storms of life, by challenges of life. And it appears as if there's no way out. Don't worry, this night, that's why the Lord has raised up this, this program called the Hour of Solution. So that the Lord will give you solution to every challenges of life in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I'll be speaking on something wonderful, something powerful, something ex exciting. The topic I'll be speaking on tonight before we pray is the altar of wickedness. I know you are excited hearing about that. I'll be speaking to us tonight on the topic, altar of wickedness. Yes, there are altars of wickedness. There are here, they are here and there. 
It is here and there. And they are enslaved the life of men. They walk against the life of, life of men. Altars of wickedness are terrible tools, terrible instru instruments in the hands of the devil, in the hands of the wicked. And through that altar, through the altar of wickedness, the life of men is, is being tormented. People are oppressed. But this night, <laughs> Every altar of wickedness will catch fire. Yes. I told us this night, get ready. Very soon, I'll just speak briefly on, on, on the topic. You know what altar of wickedness is all about. So that when we will pray, you will look eyeball to eyeball and confront the altar of wickedness in your life. Remember once again, this night is a night of fiercely confronting the beast of Ephesus. Yes, every beast of Ephesus that have been terrorizing your life, enslaving your life, making you not to live a fulfilled life. During this hour of solution, a prayer-based program, it will be a time for you to fiercely confront the beast of Ephesus. And just as Paul, in the days of old, fiercely confronted the beast of Ephesus, and disarmed the beast of Ephesus, and overthrew the beast of Ephesus, tonight, every beast of Ephesus, every altar of wickedness, will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Once again, our topic tonight, before we pray, is altar of wickedness. Altar of wickedness. Our text is taken from the book of Judges, the book of Judges, the book of Judges. Please open your Bible uh, with us so that you'll be able to follow through. You see what God is saying about the altar of a weak, a wickedness. You see what God is telling you to do with the altars of wickedness. So that when we get into the time of prayers, you will really be able to handle the altar of wickedness that have been waging war against your life that have been limiting your life, that have been enslaving your life. Once again, our text is taken from the book of Judges. Judges is after the book of Joshua. Judges chapter 6. Judges chapter 6. Judges chapter 6. We read verse 25 and verse 27. Judges chapter 6, verse 25. And it came to pass... The same night. And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, talking to Gideon, Take thy father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years old, and throw down the altar of Baal, and throw down the altar of wickedness. And throw down the altars of the enemy. And throw down the altars that have been opposing your life. Gideon, if you are to succeed in life, if you want to live an overcoming life, if you want to fulfill the plan that I have for you as your creator, as your God, Gideon, throw down the altars of wickedness. And that's what the Lord is telling us tonight. Every altars of wickedness. Every altars of wickedness. Tonight they are collapsing. Anywhere they are. In any part of the world where they are. In any village, in any bush, in any coven, in any forest. Where the altars of wickedness is projecting against your life. Manifesting against your life. The divine commandment and the divine instruction tonight is that throw down the altars of wickedness. Throw down the altars of Baal. Set them on fire. Dethrone them. And this night, that's what we are going to do. Remember, I'm speaking to us on the altar of wickedness. And throw down the altar of Baal that thy father had. And cut down the groove. That is by it. Verse 27. Then Gideon, obeying divine instruction. Then Gideon, obeying divine commandment. 
Then Gideon, listening to what God has said, then Gideon took ten men of his servants and did as the Lord said unto him. And so it was, because he feared his father's household and the men of the city, that he could not do it by day. But the conclusion was that he did it by night. He dealt with the authors of wickedness. That's what Gideon did. And that's what we are going to do tonight. You must not be ignorant of the activities of the authors of wickedness. You must not be ignorant of the activities of authors. The Bible says, because of, uh, because of uh, 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 my people are destroyed, are under captivity because of lack of knowledge, because of ignorance. And tonight, you must not be ignorant. Altars are powerful instruments. I come again. Altars are powerful instruments. The enemy uses to enslave their victims, oppress and dominate their life. And that's why you see the life of many people are under the dominance of altars. The life of many are under the oppression of authors. Many are under the slavery of authors of wickedness. And that's why the Lord told Gideon, Gideon, if you are to come out of captivity, if you are to break that limitation, if you are to make progress in life, if you are to be free, Gideon, Throw down the altars of wickedness in your father's house. The altars of wickedness that have been working against you. you know, the altars of wickedness that have been pulling you down and pulling you back. Gideon, I'm giving you an express instruction. Gideon, throw down the altar of Baal that is in thy father's house. And no wonder Gideon was victorious. He was a man that experienced the power of God. He was a man that experienced God because Gideon threw down or threw down the altars of wickedness. And that's what we are going to do tonight. Every altar, yes. Every altar from where your life has been, is being attacked. Every altar from where your life is being monitored. Every altar of captivity every altar that have enslaved your destiny, every altar that has limited your life, every altar of the enemy. Because I told us, altars are powerful instruments, yes. They are powerful instruments of captivity. Altars are powerful. And that's why every altar must not be spared tonight. We are going to throw them down. We are going to destroy their activities. The activities of altars in your family. The activities of altars reigning over your life. The activities of altars dominating your life. This night, according to the word of the Lord, every altar will crumble in the name of Jesus. Altars are stumbling block to your liberty. It works against your freedom. Altars are where people's destiny and life is manipulated caged and subdued by the powers of darkness. That's what happened. Altars, altars of wickedness. They are powerful instruments where people's destiny and life is being manipulated. Caged and subdued by the powers of darkness. And that's why you must take the, 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 the issue that we are dealing with tonight very seriously. Many people are living under the influence of wicked altars. And tonight, every altar of wickedness will catch fire in the name of Jesus. Let me hear a better amen. I said every altar of wickedness will catch fire tonight in the name of Jesus. What are altars? Altars are where powerful enchantments are pronounced. Altars are where powerful enchantments are pronounced that's why you see many people 
They are living a defeated life. The enemy has made a powerful pronouncement, powerful enchantments against their life from their wicked authors. And many are living under the influence of such pronouncements. But tonight, every altar from where enchantment is being made against your life, enchantment of defeat, pronouncement of failure, every altar from where you no know, enchantment is being made against your life, enchantment of captivity, enchantment of limitation enchantment that your life will be frustrated this night that altar of wickedness will catch fire in the name of jesus that altar of wickedness will catch fire in the name of jesus i say that altar of wickedness will catch fire in the name of jesus Authors are stronghold of the enemy. Where all kinds of spiritual wickedness takes place. Yes. Authors are stronghold of the enemy. Where all kinds of spiritual wickedness goes on against the life of men. And that's why you must not spare any altar tonight. This night, very soon, I'm going to release us. Who are going to pray every altar will catch fire every altar of wickedness will catch fire in the name of jesus every altar of captivity will catch fire in the name of jesus every altar from where your life is being enslaved oppressed and dominated upon such altar will catch fire in the name of jesus if you want to be free if you want to live an overcoming life, if you want to experience freedom, if you want to experience an overcoming life, then fear not the altar of wickedness as instructed and commanded by the Lord. And that's why this night we are not spearing any altar. Every altar of wickedness will catch fire. Every altar of wickedness, where spiritual wickedness takes place, from the altar they project against your life. From the altar they bewitch your life. From the altar they bewitch the work of your hands. From the altar they bewitch your womb. This night, the Lord said, fear not any altar. Every altar of wickedness will catch fire tonight in the name of Jesus. Remember, the Lord told Gideon, Gideon, it's time to throw down the altar, yes. And viewers that are watching us at this time, it's time to pull down every altar. It's time to pull down the altar of wickedness. It's time to pull down the altar of limitation. There are people, the altar of, of, of wickedness has dominated their, their life. The altar of wickedness is ruling their life. Pull down the altar of wickedness. Remember, I'm speaking to us. We are dealing with altars of wickedness tonight. Yes. Every altar of wickedness must come down. I told us altars are powerful instruments the enemy uses to enslave their victims. The enemy uses to oppress their victims. The enemy uses to take the life of their victims. You pray tonight, every power of solution, every altars of wickedness against my life. Every altar speaking defeat against my life. You command it to catch fire, yes. Every altar of wickedness speaking failure over your life. Altar that speaks failure over your life. Altar that speaks captivity over your family. Altar that have enslaved your destiny. Altar that will not allow your glory to show forth. You command the fire of the Lord to consume every altar of wickedness. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. The Lord told Gideon, Gideon, throw down the altar. Throw down the altar. Throw down the altar of wickedness. The altar of limitation. The altar working against your life. The instrument of enslavement. I command you to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Pray anywhere you are viewing us at this time. It's time to throw down the altar. 
It's time to throw down the altar. If you must overcome, you must deal with your altars. If you must overcome, you must throw down the altar. If you must overcome, you must fear no altar tonight. Altars of wickedness catch fire. Altars of failure catch fire. Altars of captivity catch fire. Every altar speaking against your life. Remember, this is the hour of solution, a prayer-based program. Altars that are speaking defeat against your life. Altars projecting defeat against your life. Altars dominating your life. Altars that have subdued your life. Your glory cannot manifest. Your glory cannot manifest because there's an altar that is speaking failure, speaking captivity over your life. You come on fire against every altar. Pray tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Remember, tonight we are dealing with altars of wickedness. I told you that altars of wickedness are strongholds of the enemy. Where all kinds of spiritual wickedness takes place. And that's why tonight every altar must catch fire. The altar in the village. The altar in the coven of the enemy. The altar in the graveyard. The altar from where enchantment, powerful enchantment, negative enchantment is being made against you. Altars are powerful. If you know what altars are, if you know how deadly altars are, if you know how altars can enslave one's glory, one's destiny, then you will pray. The Lord gave a divine instruction to Gideon. He said, Gideon, those are altars that are limiting your life. Those are altars that are against your life. Those are altars that are working against you. Alt uh, Gideon, if you will make it in life, if you will live a life of freedom, if you will enjoy the life I want you to enjoy, Gideon, then deal with your altars. And that's what the Lord has told us tonight. That's what the Lord is telling us tonight. Every altars of wickedness, I said catch fire, yes. Altars of wickedness. From where failure is being projected against your life. Altars of wickedness. From where frustration. Many are frustrated. Because from the altars of wickedness, frustration is being projected against their life. Tonight you are going to pray. Every altar that is working against my life. Every altar of limitation. Every altar speaking barrenness into my life. Every altar speaking defeat. Many people are under defeat. They cannot rise up because there are altars speaking defeat against their life. But tonight, oppression, evil altars, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. 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 Every altar catch fire. Every altars of wickedness. Every order of wickedness, every order from weird pronouncement of defeat, enchantment of defeat, enchantment of captivity, enchantment of barrenness, enchantment against your marriage is being made. You command every order to catch fire in the name of Jesus. It's a night of throwing down others. It's a night of pulling down others. It's a night of dealing with your others. It's a night of dealing with others of wickedness. It's a night of dealing with altars of wickedness. I say it's a night of dealing with altars of wickedness. Pray tonight. Pray tonight. I told her that walls will crumble tonight. I told her that strongholds will be pulled down tonight. I told her that fetters will be broken tonight. Every altars of wickedness. Every altars of wickedness at war against your life. You pull it down tonight. The Bible says the weapons of our warfare, they are not gonna. The weapons of our warfare, they are not gonna. The Bible says the weapons of our, our warfare, they are not gonna. But they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. All types of wickedness are strongholds. You pull them down. All types of wickedness are, 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 are limitations. You pull them tonight. You pull them down tonight. Pray. Call upon God tonight. Every altar will crumble tonight. Pray. In 
Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible said there's no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. Every enchantment against your life from any altar, altars in the village, altars in the covo, altars in occultic places, we are going to once again. Remember, the Lord told us, and there shall be fire in the palaces of Gaza, yes. And tonight we are going to command every altar, yes, every altar of wickedness, from where defeat is being projected against your life, from where the, the captivity is being projected against your life, every altar, altar of wickedness, from where your womb is being tied, from where your life is being tied, from where your business is being tied, every altar of wickedness, from where your life is being manipulated, many people's life are manipulated, and the devil manipulates their life using the altars of wickedness. The devil manipulates their life through the altars of wickedness. You pray tonight, every altars of wickedness manipulating my life. Every altars of wickedness that have declared war against my life. Every altars of wickedness enslaving my life. I command you to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Pray tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray tonight. It's a night of prayers. 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 Speak to your altars tonight. Speak to the altars of wickedness tonight. Speak to that altars. Altars that have enslaved your womb. Altars that have enslaved your health. Altars that have enslaved your family. Altars that have enslaved your life. Altars of wickedness. 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 I say, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Pray tonight. Pray tonight. Pray tonight. Pray tonight. You destroy every altar. You destroy every altar. You destroy every altar. You destroy every altar of wickedness. Altars of wickedness. Altars of wickedness. I say, catch fire tonight. Pray. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. Remember tonight, it's a night of dealing with altars of wickedness. The Bible said that, Lose thyself from the bounds of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. Altars enslaves the life of people. Altars limits the glory of people. Altars, no, no, altars uh, limits the life of people. But tonight, tonight, according to the word of the Lord, the Lord said, Lose thyself from the bounds of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. And this night you are going to lose yourself from the influence of every altar of wickedness. I lose my life from the influence of every altar of wickedness. I release my business. I release my career. I release my wife. I release my health. I release my womb. I release my destiny from the influence of every altar of wickedness. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lose thyself from the bounds of thy neck. O captive daughter of Zion. Are you a captive? Are you under captivity? Are you under oppression? As a result of the influence of the altars of wickedness, the Bible says, lose thyself from the bounds of thy neck. O captive daughter of Zion, you lose yourself. Anywhere you are watching us at this time, viewing this program at this time, you stand up. You stand up as a mighty warrior. You stand up. It's not a prayer you pray and you are pleading with the devil. And you are negotiating with the devil. No. When you are destroying others of wickedness, you don't negotiate with the devil. When you are dealing with others of captivity, the instrument of wickedness in the hands of the enemy, you don't negotiate. You don't negotiate. You confront them as Paul confronted the beast of Ephesus. Every altar of wickedness, I lose myself from your hands. I lose myself. The Bible says, lose thyself. Lose thyself from the bounds of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. Everything that altars of wickedness has enslaved in your life. Everything that altars of wickedness has taken into captivity in your life, your health your marriage, your career, your glory, 
you lose yourself tonight, yes. Lose yourself tonight. Lose yourself tonight. Remember, it's the hour of solution. It's a prayer-based program. What we do during this program is to pray. What we do during this program is to use, to make use of a weapon of prayer. And tonight, you make use of the weapon of prayer. You bring down your altars of wickedness. You throw down the altars of wickedness. We read it in the book of Judges. The Lord told Gideon, Gideon, my son, Gideon, my servant, I see a limitation in your life. And it is as a result of the altars of wickedness of your father's house. Gideon, throw down the altars of wickedness. No wonder Gideon arose and pulled down the altars of wickedness. Tonight is your turn. You throw down every altars of wickedness. You pull down the altars of wickedness. The altars of limitation, you pull them down. Pray, pray, pray. It's a night of prayers. It's a night of prayers. It's a night of prayers. Jacob and Jabok. Jacob and Jabok. He wrestled. He wrestled. He wrestled. He said, oh God, no. I will not let you go except you give me victory. I will not let you go except you bless me. I will not let you go except you bless me. And that's how you are praying tonight. That's how you ought to pray tonight. You wrestle with the beast of Ephesus. You confront the beast of Ephesus. You pull down the altars of wickedness. You throw down the altars of wickedness. You release yourself. You release yourself from the bondage of the altars of wickedness. Pray. Turn it to prayer. Turn it to prayer. Turn it to prayer. Turn it to prayer. The weapons of our warfare, they are not gonna. The weapons of our warfare. The weapons of our warfare, they are not gonna. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Every stronghold, every altar of wickedness represents a stronghold in your life. You pull them down tonight. Formidable altars, stubborn altars, wicked altars, from where they project failure against your life, from where they manipulate your life, from where they dominate your life, from where, where they work against your life, from where they tied your life, from where they tied your certificate, from where they tied your business, from where they tied and enslaved your life. Oh, pray to God, fire tonight. Set every altar on fire. Destroy every altar of wickedness. Altar speaking failure into your life. Altar speaking defeat. Speaking paralysis into your life. Altar speaking perpetual sickness. Over your life, over your children. Altar that will not allow you to lift up your head. Altar that will not allow you to fulfill destiny. Altar that has placed a limit over your life. Nobody can pass that limit. Tonight, I said tonight, tonight, you confront fiercely the beast of Ephesus. You confront fiercely every altar of wickedness. Catch fire! Pray! terrible. I've showed us from, from the scriptures. If altars were not terrible, if there were no need to, to, to deal with the altars of wickedness, the Lord wouldn't have instructed and commanded Gideon to deal with altars of wickedness. Altars of wickedness can stop you at the verge of your breakthrough. Altars of wickedness can checkmate you at the, at the, gate, of your, at the gate of your glory. I shared with us last week a man that I knew. He has done everything possible to travel out of this country. His uh, he, he travel documents, everything was ready. Just few days for him to fly out of this country to go and improve his life. Few days. Few days just close to his house. Because there were authors that were, that were speaking against him. Altar that will wait for people at the, at the verge of their glory. Just a few days for him to, to, to leave this country. Just close to his house. A driver that was driving a, 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 against the traffic knocked him down. Instantly he died. That's the wickedness of the altars of wickedness. Altars, as I said, 
They are powerful instruments. They are powerful instruments in the hands of the enemy to enslave the life of men, to oppress the life of men, and to dominate the life of men. And that's why this night you must pray. I know you are praying. Wherever you are viewing this live program, I know you are praying. And we are still going to pray. Within this short time we still have, before we round off, we are going to pray. Because this night, every altar was crumbled. Every altar was catch fire. Every altar that will draw you back at the verge of your breakthrough must be destroyed. I know of another man, just at the verge of his breakthrough, the altar of wickedness returned him to his former state. And that's why altars of wickedness cannot be spared this night. Altars of wickedness must not be condoned this night. There are people that altars of wickedness have devastated their life. There are people that altars of wickedness is reigning and ruling in their family, dominating their life. And they cannot make headway because the altars of wickedness is still alive. It's much more in charge. But this night, every altar of wickedness that is in charge of your life, you command it to catch fire. Yes. Every altar of wickedness in charge of my life, I say, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Turn it to prayer. Turn it to prayer. Turn it to prayer. Every altar of wickedness in charge of your life. Altars of wickedness in charge of your life. Altars of wickedness that will say, I will not allow you to, to go. I will not release you. I will not allow you to make it in life. I will not release you. I will not release you. All types of wickedness that manifest like Elma the sorcerer, they will stood your life. They will stood your glory. They will stood your breakthrough. They will stood your life. All types of wickedness can't fire yes. All types can hear you. They can hear you. They can hear you. They can hear you. They can hear you. All types of wickedness. All types of wickedness. All types of wickedness. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Pray. It's a night of destroying the others. It's a night of dealing with others of wickedness. It's a night. A night of dealing with others. A night of destroying others. You destroy the others. You destroy the others. The others that have enslaved your life. The altar that have limited your life. The altar dominating your life. Ruling over your life. The altars of wickedness that is dictating your life. The altars of wickedness that is in charge of your life. Altars tonight, it is written, your ministry shall not continue. Yes, that is scriptures. The Bible stands. It is written, your ministry shall not continue. The ministry of altars of wickedness against my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. The Bible said that we wrestle not against flesh and blood.